Jerry from the Ames Public Library, and I'm here to read you a very wonderful and enjoyable book. It's called Book, Book, Book. And look, it's got exclamation marks on it. That means I'm going to say it with lots of feeling behind it. It's also on the cover, if we open it all up, we have lots of animals, and which kind of tells us that Perhaps the book is about the animals. So we have a chicken and a goat and a pig, a cow and a duck. I wonder what kind of sounds they make. Our book is written by Deborah Bruss and Tiffany book Beak. And if we look in the back, we discover who they are and what kind of animals that they have in their own house and how they grew up. So I invite you to read that when you check out this book. So let's see what happens inside. We have a nice, beautiful yellow page. And then we have our title in purple this time, Book, Book, Book by Deborah Bruss. Some other pages that the author is talking to us. And then our story begins right here with this big D, what makes a D sound. And it starts with the word, down at the farm, all was well. The children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share no tug of war to play, and no one to scratch behind their ears and, or ruffle their feathers. In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head, and the cow complained, and the goat grumbled, the pig pouted, and the duck dozed off, and the hand heaved a great big sigh. <sighs> Long about noon, with the sun high above the barnyard, the hen squawked. I'm bored and I'm heading to town to find something to do. The animals followed her down the road. Look, there's a sign. And you know what that word says? It says library. I bet they're going to the library. Right there, it says public library, just like our library in Ames. Our story continues. Look, clucked the hen, happy faces. This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, whinnied the horse. You're too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. So the horse clip-clopped into the library, politely asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the horse. All she heard was, nay, nay. So the horse hung his head and clip-clopped out. Next, the cow plodded in. Politely, she asked for something to do. But the librarian did not understand the cow. All she heard was moo, moo. So the cow complained and plodded out. Now, it was Goat's turn and he trotted in. Politely, he asked for something to do, but the librarian couldn't understand the goat. All she heard was bleh, bleh. So the goat grumbled and trotted out again. Slowly, the pig ambled into the library. Politely, she asked for something to do, but all the librarian heard was can you guess? Oink, oink. So the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the hen, and she announced, oh, I am going to go in, and uh, no one is going to stop me. Into the library, she flapped. Book, clucked the hen politely. The librarian looked around and said, what's that noise? 
Book? Book? The librarian scratched her head. Who said that? She asked. Book? 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 Clutched the hand quite clearly. Oh, is that what you want? Asked the librarian. And she handed the hen three books. And they got in the train and went home. And they went to, yep, you guessed it, back to the farm. And back at the farm, the horse, the cow, the goat, the pig, the duck, and the hen gathered around the books. The barnyard was filled with maize, moo, bah, oink, oink, quack, 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 and book, book, books. Their sounds of delight lasted until sundown. All the animals were happy, except for the bullfrog. And do you know what he said? Hmm. I already read it. Read it, read it, read it. Book, book, book. 